young fella just uh, gave me an album and asked uh, me to sign it. This is, uh, this goes back a ways. This goes back to the old Joey Bishop show. Here's the album that I made. It's time for Regis, and there's the Vine Street Theater in Hollywood, on, uh, in, uh, in Hollywood uh, there, right on Vine Street, the old Joey Bishop show. Thank you very much, Bob, for bringing this by. And, and this point, too. Okay, here's a fellow that I have known since the old Joey Bishop show, has had, you know, tremendous success in television, a dynamic performer, plays clubs all over the country, is one of the most amazing characters I think you will ever see in action. Going to perform some of the great uh, stunts that he's worked with over the years. Here's his book called Kreskin's Fun Way to Mind Expansion, and here is the world's foremost mentalist, Kreskin. <laughs> Kreskin is here. Kreskin is thrilled to death. He is thrilled to death to be here today because he lives 10 minutes from here. <laughs> and it took us two hours to, no, about half an hour to get here. I'll tell you, this, it's, this is crazy. Don't you have a theme this week of soap operas, people? We have soap opera people, sure. Yeah, I just appeared with them, and I'm opening some of the shopping malls in Canada. And these people turn the world on, these soap operas. Yes, they really do. Everyone right. asks me, can I read their thoughts? Can you? Well, I've tried Regis before the program, and... Uh, you would be amazed at how he thinks before a television no. show. I won't even tell you. But this I don't man know. accused me, and I know he was joking, of having stooges in the audience, pulling their ears, of motioning with their hands, and my secretary kept saying, Kreskin, he's only kidding you, and I know you are. No, I, you know I am, but I still don't know how he does it. However, today, we will all watch him very carefully. <laughs> <laughs> Naturally, you think, well, you see, later in the show, we're going to hide something somewhere around here. Yeah. I don't even know where. Tire, tire and you keep thinking area. that someone is tipping off Kreskin yeah. where it is, but I don't know. We've never caught you yet, Kreskin, <laughs> and we never will, right? No, because I don't use Confederates or Stooges. I want to do something that uh, I think is really going to be uh, dramatic. Okay. Uh, you're, we're talking about the ledger. Uh, with the 42nd Street musical in New York, I took four sh of the shortest chorus girls and uh, the star whose name, this is, he's going to kill me, Jerry Orbach? Jerry Orbach, sure. And the test, and it was only for press, not for television, literally almost failed because it requires the locking in of someone's mind, and it's four people. I had to pick four people before the show. I want to be honest with you. Would they come forward? There's four gals. Meanwhile, Regis, I'm going to bring Kreskin the chair over Kreskin has picked four ladies uh, before the, the show nice for this particular stunt. Hi. I don't know their names. What is your name, Donna? Pearl James. Where are you from, Pearl? Newark. Newark? Lynn Jackalone, Newark. Nancy Fishcorn, Edison. Lisa Laco, Summit. Do any of you know Kreskin in we this know, we... life or maybe a past yeah. life? <laughs> <laughs> and that I'm not sure. I don't believe in that in this life. But we've never met before. And can I just get one acknowledgement from you gals? When I described to you what you were going to do, and we considered trying it. Am I, con am I correct that it almost seemed like it would be impossible? In fact, when they tried it, not with Regis, it was impossible. Now, Regis, I'm going to ask you to sit right down here. I need your maybe put the microphone away because his hands have to be empty. My folks, don't, uh, <laughs> don't try this at home. Until you read my book, and uh, it, it, you can get it here at the mall, uh, don't try it at home, because you could strain yourself. Now, girls, listen to me. You've got to have equal heights. You two are the tallest, you two are the shortest. Would you get on the, either side of Regis? Okay, They're going to lift you by just finger, two fingers of each hand. Remember when you were kids, a Girl Scout and a Boy Scout stunt, where you held your fingers together, six of you lifted a kid in the air. Well, he was 20 pounds, 25 pounds, six could do it easily. In my new book, I show how you can do this with a, an adult person because there's one thing that was learned from the Olympics. For years, Jim McKay used to say, why are the Russians, and finally we did it this year, all the Olymp most of the Olympic divers and shot put people, before they did anything, they stood with their eyes closed for 20 seconds. Nobody knew what was going on. They were visualizing exactly what they thought their muscles should be doing. That's right. It's the program for success. All right. Gals, put your hands together Let's as if go, you're ladies. passing them. Now extend the first finger of both hands uh, straight ahead. Now, Regis, I got to only this one time have both your hands on, on your leg. Only like about like this. Now you put your two fingers, your two under his arms, your two under his knee. 
Now don't, don't hurt me. <laughs> Watch your hands there, baby. <laughs> now I want to tell you, now I'm reading his thoughts. <laughs> easy, easy. Now, here's what I want to do. Listen, gals. Listen, gals. You're going to take three breaths. Read your... They'll never pick me up, Kreskin. Not a 250-pound <laughs> Regis will synchronize with the last breath, but listen, the first breath, you make a light breath, the second, fairly deep, the third breath, when I tell them to take a third breath, Regis, I want you, with the four girls, to inhale slowly and deeply on the third breath, and as crazy as this sound, all of you think light. Okay, we're almost out of time. Now, all right, would you four girls do one more thing? Close your eyes, picture Regis in the air, three feet off that chair. You can do this, now open your eyes. All right, all together now, first breath, breathe in light, exhale. Open your eyes, all of you. Second breath, in deeper, exhale. Third breath, all at once, lift, 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 bring him up, 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 there he goes! the savings during Macy's 8th Annual Celebration going on now. Thank you. Thank you very much. Back at the mall here at Short Hills, New Jersey, working with the amazing Kreskin. Now, those four ladies, of course, were right out of the audience. Yeah. They're not weightlifters or anything like that. No. But they, they didn't sure, think they could do it. They, they sure just... got me up easily. Now, the next stunt is one of my favorite things, yeah. and that is where we take... Kreskin away, hide him somewhere in a back room where he doesn't have any access to a television set, and we proceed to hide an object here somewhere in our studio, somewhere, you know, in the vicinity of our stage, and, and then can, bring you back at the end of the show, and you will find it. You can do it, by the way, Richard, you can do it anywhere. I don't even care if you use the upstairs, but I All guess right. for camera reasons, you can do it anywhere, on a person, at a place. Let's get... Now, you have to be serious about this. I'll need maybe three more people from our audience whom I've not spoken to or even met before. Well, when, Okay, why don't, well, why don't we pick them? Hey, pick Carol, a gentleman. Come on up here. Hey, pick one man. One, one guy? Fella, yeah. How about you right here? Right up here. And this lady over here. Good. All right, okay, fine. come over here. Come on up. Come on up. One yeah. More. Now, one more. Regis, that's about it. No, we got, we've got enough people right here. Oh, All right, he needed three. We have three now. Yeah. If you could just hurry a little bit. Yeah. Right on up here. I don't think there's any problem in her hurrying. What's your name, young man? Larry. And Larry? Kitty Riley. Kitty Riley from where? South Orange. South Orange. Flora and Park came yeah. here with a bunch of ladies, right? No. Good. Okay, that's Carol. Now, you have, have you decided, do you want me to suggest, or have you decided what you're going to hide, Regis? I have, I don't know, well, what are we going to hide? Yeah, Has anyone thought about that? To me. How about that TV set? Can we uh, hide that? We have something, we have something small or tiny. That how about the eagle? Can yeah, we bring the eagle, the eagle back? That's what it, right. I'll tell no. you what. Uh, how about, can we borrow this right here? Is sure. that all right, Regis? Is that all right? Is or that or would you enough? The tinier, the better. Okay, it's, a, it's like tinier, a gold pen. All right. Now, here's my only conditions, and, and to be honest with you, this is being done legitimately. I have never prearranged this, because my check is sitting in every concert, and if I don't find it, I don't get paid, and that's a nightmare. What I want you folks to do, Regis, uh, Anne, and the three of you, you take it. Now, you must walk together to hide it. Don't one of you hide it. The five of you go together. One of you should be the last to touch it. Even Regis, if it's put on a person, it should not be handed to that person to hide. One of you have to literally put it where it is. And the five of you then must know exactly how to get to it and come back right, here. So you want all three of them to touch it? Or uh, just the no, one of the, any one of you put it in place, but all of you walk together. Go together. So you're all together. They must see, you must in your mind see it in place. Now listen, when I come back, which will be 45 minutes from now, you've got to know exactly where it is. Because I'm going to go out of sight. And you've got to remember it and think about it, keep it in yeah, your mind. Right. Kreskin, the guard said, All right, I'm going to go and I will not see the show Please, anymore. Kreskin. All right. Please, take, take him away. There and don't let him see any set. We have to be hidden. And we've got a job to do here, Regis. Okay. Now, 
You've got to take our word for it. Kreskin is gone. He is back there. He cannot see what we're going to do here on the set. I'm going to hide this. I want, gonna hide. Yeah, we're going to hide it. Why don't we all come together? Come on. Okay, come on. <laughs> Stalking the wild of the mall at Short Hills. <laughs> together in mass. Come on, everybody. I have an idea. Think about it. I have an idea. What's your idea? What's your idea? I want to put it. I'm going to put it. No, 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 no. No, no. I'm going to put it here. Larry, you put this in her shoe. Who are you? Who are you, honey? This question's too tough. What is your name? Read my lips. Carol. No, Carol. Good. Okay. Hey, everybody, pay attention. You know where it is. You know, wait a minute. Wait a minute. He can see that. No. I tell you what. No. I tell you what. Here, wait a minute, wait a minute. Here he goes. Everybody think. Yeah. Stay with us here. Larry, Larry, put this right here. <laughs> what is your name? Vivian. 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 And she was here yesterday. Yeah, she so was. This is a loyal fan. No, we're, we'll cover I, it up. Come on, Vivian. Okay. okay. All right, that's where it stays. <clears throat> just move back a little bit. Just want the folks. It's right here. In Vivian's boat. Let me just tuck this right. little boat. We're going to tuck that in so Kreskin can't see it. We will all meet at the end of the show. We'll give him a few minutes to find it, and we'll see what he can do. Thanks very much. See you all in just a minute. We'll be right back with Darnell Williams and Candace Early. All righty, we're back now. Now, you know, at the beginning of our show, we brought out the amazing Kreskin, the great mentalist. We hid a gold pen somewhere in the near vicinity of our stage. And we had three people help us and help Kreskin. One of them actually put the pen where it is right now, hidden. Kreskin has been secluded, yes, right? Yes, with guards. With guards watching every move Kreskin makes. He Kreskin had to here. go to the men's room. He couldn't get out. Let's bring him back right now. Here he is Here with, he is. His, with his uh, armed uh, security, the amazing Kreskin. These are our three. Let me ask you something. Did Kreskin see a t t TV set back there? No, he did not. Wait, just by himself? He was sequestered in the rear area of the green room. Uh -huh. And saw absolutely nothing? Nothing at all. And heard nothing either? That's correct. Right. Thanks thank very you, much, John. fellas. Very appreciate very that. Thank you, can, can I ask? Thank you. Uh, I have to ask because this is the one thing where I, I literally lost control because I have no, no control of where it was hidden. Of all you folks, who put it in place of the five of you? Did you say, what's your name? Larry. Larry, I've, by the way, I've prearranged nothing in any way, shape, or form. I'm going to absolve ABC of this, but I have a very substantial offer to anyone who could prove I employ Confederates. We never met before, do we? You know exactly where it is. Now, I may change subjects, Larry, so you, you pay heed, the, Regis, and the other two of you listen carefully. Larry, I'm going to lead you about this area by this handkerchief. You take one, and I'll take the other. You've got to treat this seriously, Larry. Now, you know exactly where this is. Go wherever I lead you. Don't you help me. You follow me anywhere I lead you. But in your mind, from the moment I say concentrate, you talk to me in your mind as if I could hear you. You understand? As if I could hear you. Go wherever I, but in your, if I'm going the wrong way, think, no, that's not right. If I, if I come near it, if I have to take something apart, think about it until I'm finally holding it, right? From the moment we begin until I hold it, you concentrate. Take this in your hand. Yeah, you folks stay here for the moment. Now, your first name is? Larry. Larry. Now, concentrate seriously, Larry. Eyes open. Ready, begin, concentrate. I'm going the wrong way, think, no, that's not right. Seriously, Larry. Eyes open. Eyes open. I'm going the wrong way, concentrate. Exactly. You keep talking to me as clearly as you can, please, Larry, as clearly as you can. Keep talking to, with your eyes open. Understand. Just listen to me, Larry, and whatever I say, answer me mentally. Don't say anything out loud. I believe you, t and say nothing out loud, I believe you told me to come to this aisle, but you're going to have to You're going to have to pin. Uh, 
uh, can I, uh, uh, can I ask you, sir, uh, ma'am, can I ask you to stand? Would you stand, please, ma'am? Please stand. Would you stay? I'm sorry. You all right, ma'am? Yeah. You've been drinking also. No. <laughs> Step up to there, please, if you will. Concentrate as clearly as you can. Uh, eyes open. Watch me, Larry. Concentrate as clearly as you can. Uh, can I bring her down the front, Regis? Can yeah. you come down the front, please, ma'am? Watch your step. Because yes. of her heels, please. Please walk down the front, please, ma'am. Larry, concentrate as clearly as you can. Can I ask you to step here, ma'am? Regis, would you stand or uh, concentrate, Larry, as clearly as you can? Uh, uh, I don't understand. I don't. Ma'am, can I ask you to take this off? Do you mind? I'm You're sorry. Not uh, no, take it off. Please, ma'am. Please take it off. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, That's my shoulder pad. Yeah. Is that what that Obvious, is? Obviously, ma'am, you're a performer. Oh, uh, that I am. Uh, yeah. Watch my feet. Yeah. Would you hold that, please? Uh, I don't understand. I don't. Uh, I don't know what to do. Regis, can I have you stand over here, sure. please? Please, concentrate as clearly as you can. I don't understand. Turn around, ma'am. That is round. It, it, it encompassed your shoulders, and yet. Uh, uh, I've got to, I keep thinking, I keep seeing things that are around. Uh, all right, listen to me. What you, Larry, you tell me in your mind exactly what I need to do. Because if I touch your hair, you, you just said to me no. Just listen to me. If I touch the button which is round, you say no. I took the shawl off which is round, you said no. And yet, it's... something. As soon as I walked down the aisle, all I kept getting images of is circles, and I picked the lady's purse, but it did not have a loop on it, so I set it down, and I couldn't figure out why I was getting circles, and then it suddenly dawned on me that this was round around, around her head, so it's good to have this back, I'll tell you. A terrific demonstration by Creskin. Thank you, Larry. Thank you. Thanks, Creskin. We'll be right back. Tell you how you can win a $3,000 blue box coat in just a moment.